When arriving on scene for an aerial rope operation, the first thing to be thinking about is the placement of the truck. Make sure the truck is parked so as to utilize the ladder to the side of the rig. Consider both pickup points and drop off points. Setup for operation. Delegate the following tasks. Aerial setup and pinned in rescue mode. Install the life pulley and run ropes to aerial tip. Install life pulley in the egress section. Pin side of the pulley needs to face the driver's side with the pin capturing both the egress bracket and pulley. Secure safety latch on pin. Hang both 300 foot rope bags by their shoulder straps on the man saver bars. Walk both ropes down the aerial. Ensure ropes are not crossed and place one rope in each sheet. Lower the rope ends to the ground plus 10 additional feet. Install crossbar and rig main and safety lines. Remove crossbar from storage cradle and insert in notch on bed section of aerial. Ensure the locking pin is in place. Secure safety line on the captain's side with a clutch and carabiner. Secure main line on the driver's side with two Prusiks and a carabiner. Prep Stokes Basket. Remove Stokes from the compartment and place on the ground adjacent to the tip of the bedded ladder on the operating side of the truck. Connect bridle gathering point to the two rope ends utilizing eight on a bites and two opposing carabiners, each carabiner capturing both ropes. Be sure to adjust the stokes so that the head of the basket is elevated higher than the feet. If the operation permits, attach guidelines to the end of the stokes basket. Obstructions, lack of visibility, or length of the rope operation might preclude the use of guidelines. Plan ahead. TSO inspection and approval. Prior to elevating aerial with a Stokes basket, inspect and approve key system components. Prior to a rescuer going over the side or a patient via suspended by the rope system. Pedestal positions. Safety line. One person operating the clutch. Main line. One person operating the winch. Do not allow rope to slough off the pedestal. Confirm the rope is clear prior to rotating aerial. Aerial operator. Operate an aerial or mining double pressic on the main line. Do not attempt simultaneous aerial and rope winch operation. All personnel on the turntable need to be aware of the loose rope created while retracting the aerial or winching the load. Operating the rope winch. Wrap the winch drum four times clockwise, starting at the base of the drum and wrapping upward. On the fourth wrap, place the rope over the chrome thumb, then complete the wrap by inserting the rope into the groove. While winching, the thumb and groove allows the rope to self-tend by not requiring constant tension while raising. Insert handle into the top of the winch. Rotate winch handle to raise the load. Counterclockwise, raises at a 13 to one. Clockwise, raises at a 40 to one. To lower, remove the rope from the groove at the top of the drum and slowly feed the rope into the drum. Aero operator should be tending the double pressing. Winch failure workaround. In the unlikely event of the rope winch failure, the below corrective actions can be taken to safely complete the evolution. Prior to initiating these steps, an attempt should be made to complete the evolution utilizing the aerial hydraulics. Lock the double press six on the main line. Unwrap the rope from the rope winch. For the remainder of this evolution, the main line is now the safety line and vice versa. Convert the main line clutch for a haul. This will require a three to one or five to one mechanical advantage to run up the ladder. Position the haul team two or three members, in line on the pedestal as needed. Emphasis should be made to limit the bounce effect caused by the haul team's pull. This concludes a review of life pulley operation. Setup for operations. Delegate the following tasks. Aerial setup and pinned in rescue mode. Install the ladder tip crossbar. Place a blue anchor strap attached to the top of the ladder tip crossbar around the first rung on the tip of the ladder and then back to the crossbar. Prep the Stokes basket. 
Remove stokes from the compartment and place on the ground adjacent to the tip of the bedded ladder on the operating side of the truck. Attach the two red pickoff straps to the stokes basket with the carabiners in opposing fashion. If the operation permits, attach guidelines to the end of the stokes basket. Obstructions, lack of visibility, or length of the rope operation might preclude the use of guidelines. Plan ahead. TSO inspection and approval. Prior to elevating aerial with a stokes basket, inspect and approve key system components. Thank you for watching. This concludes our review of the pickoff strap operations.